Okay, I'm going to show you the easiest way I've found to uh, get the talk group IDs for OP25 and upload them to your Raspberry Pi OP25 instance. First thing we're going to do is go to radioreference.com, go to the database page, browse. I'm going to go to my state and my county, North Carolina, Craven County and Craven County Trunked Systems and I'm looking for New Bern Public Safety. Up here you'll see a hamburger button that says menu. Let's click on that and go to the downloads page. Now you need to be a subscriber to get to the spreadsheets on this web page if I'm not mistaken. So now we're going to go down to download CSV file of all talk groups and it's downloaded let's open it up in numbers on a Mac and the only columns we need are decimal and alpha tag so let's delete the other columns whoops and let's get them all at once here Click, delete selected columns. Okay, here we have the completed file that we need. Let's export it to TSV and hit save. And I'm going to name this file New Burn and it'll automatically add the TSV extension. So hit export. I've already done this once before, so let me replace that file. Now we want to go to a program called CyberDuck. In Windows, you probably use a program called Putty. And we're going to open an SFTP session. And I'm going to type in the IP address of my Raspberry Pi that has OP25 on it. Uh, port 22 username and password and connect now we want to navigate to the op25 folder the op25 subfolder the gr op25 repeater subfolder and then finally let's double click on apps make sure this is populated on the top here and then we simply want to go to upload on the action button and then let's go to the desktop and find my file. Uh, I'm not going to hit upload here because I actually have some talk groups in here that I don't want to overwrite that aren't in the radio reference list. So that's all there is to it. That's the simplest way to grab the, the uh, talk group IDs and upload them to your OP25 instance.